After playing basketball for over 10 years and becoming the captain of my varsity team, a realization that I had is to keep working as hard as possible, you have to love what you do. And I understand that sometimes it's hard to love what you do when things aren't going your way. You could be in a shooting slump, or you could have made a bad turnover that got you subbed out of the game. But look, with basketball and anything in life, you can get that motivation back. And I'm gonna show you how. The first trick that I'm gonna share with you is actually a book that I recommended in one of my other videos. So quick plug, check out that video. It's somewhere on my channel. It's, it's called The Five Books Every Basketball Player Must Read or something like that. Check this out right here. So, I highlighted it, underlined it, because I knew I was gonna talk about it in a video. I read this the other night, and I believe it's perfect for you if you're struggling with motivation. All right, here it is. I'm gonna read this to you, ready? So it's in the book, How Champions Think by Dr. Rob Rotella. Yes. Let's take, for example, a theoretical lumberjack. He got into logging because he loved the forest and loved being outdoors. He loved the feeling by selecting the right trees for cutting. He was being a good steward and helping the forest stay healthy. But as the years went by, this fictional lumberjack stopped noticing the smells and the sights of the forest, the birds and the animals, and the clean air. He got bored with cutting trees. He decided he hated the sound of a power saw. Pretty soon, he started telling himself he hated being a lumberjack. His productivity fell. He was in danger of losing his job. If he came to me at this point, I would tell him he had two choices. He could either quit being a lumberjack and find some other line of work, or he could fall in love with it again. So after I read that, that was like a mind explosion moment for me, because I think we experience that sometimes in basketball. When we first start, we love every aspect of it. We love the way the sound is when the ball hits the floor or when it swishes through the net and everything around us we love, like the smell of a gym, like the hardwood floors, everything we love about it. But when we're really struggling, when we're losing, when we're in a slump, we often forget about the reasons why we fell in love with the game in the first place. Basketball is a very competitive game and I love it for it. But sometimes we have to stop with the competing just for a second. I'm all about competing, but just for a second and appreciate the best parts of the game. Hey man, do me a favor, please subscribe because I'm trying to grow this channel. Thank you. The second tip I have for you is sometimes you just have to have discipline. Like, you have to have the realization that you love the game, but right now it's not feeling so fun, but it will get better. So, if you're really in it for the long haul, there's going to be moments where your motivation is going to be all the way up here, and there's going to be times when it's down to here. It's going to fluctuate, and hey, you just got to be able to go through it, you know, through the highs and the lows. But sometimes, you're going to have to use your discipline and your willpower to get out there and train even when you don't want to. That makes the difference between a good player and a great one. A good one trains when he wants to. A great player trains even when he doesn't want to. Make it fun by creating a game with yourself. This is something that I did when I was in the shooting slump. Uh, this shooting slump lasted six games and then on my seventh game I made one three and then the game after that, I had, like, one of my highest scoring games in our fall week. I had at least 20 points, and I hit, like, three threes. So, the game that I had with myself was this. I made the game up. How many threes am I going to take while being fearless? Instead of getting into the, my head and saying, well, I've been in a shooting slump, so I shouldn't shoot. No. No. I've gotten to this point, my coaches trust me to take this shot, so it's a game within myself. How many shots can I shoot, no matter the result, how many shots can I shoot without fear? 
and I kept shooting, and I kept missing. But guess what? By the sixth game, or by the seventh game, and then the eighth game, I went off. And there's other mini games you can play with yourself, like how many teammates can I high five today, or how many, uh, you know, how well can I read my my assignment? Like, can I force him to the baseline or the sideline? Make mini games with yourself to have fun. Just relax and have fun out there, man. Finally, this is my greatest piece of advice to you. Be like a kid. When we played basketball as kids, when we were either having a shoot around in our backyard or the driveway or just having fun with friends, playing the game, we weren't all caught up in this, oh, well, I need motivation to train. and No, we just loved it so much that motivation wasn't even a thought. We just went outside and had fun with it. Be like a kid again. Get back to whatever you did as a kid that made you fall in love with the game and do that all the time. For me, I fell in love with the game just by practicing outside, being where nobody else is around me, just me, myself, and I, and just shooting around. And I play games with myself out there like, all right, there's five seconds on the clock, four, three, two, and even if you miss, you can get your reboot bound again and just do it again. Right? Three seconds have been magically added to the shot clock. Have fun with the game. Be like a kid. Be like a kid. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you got some value from this. As always, keep God first. Good luck.